Inside Science. My fellow Americans, this day has brought terrible news and great sadness to our country. On February 1st, 2003, the Space Shuttle Columbia disintegrated upon re-entry, killing all seven astronauts on board. Colonel Rick Husband, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Anderson, Commander Laurel Clark, Captain David Brown, Commander William McCool, Dr. Kulpna Shavla, and Ilan Ramon, a colonel in the Israeli Air Force. During liftoff, a piece of foam broke off from a tank and struck the orbiter's left wing. The damage was originally thought not to be significant, but it ultimately caused the vehicle to break apart during re-entry, less than 20 minutes away from touchdown. The disaster was the second fatal accident for the space shuttle program after the 1986 Challenger disaster, which broke apart soon after liftoff. Philip Metzger was part of the team that investigated the Columbia disaster. The Columbia disaster was heartbreaking, of course, because the people who died are part of the NASA family and we all felt we had lost our family. Uh, so it was heartbreaking. We would spend a lot of time at work just walking down the hallways, weeping, thinking about it. Spectators in Texas with cameras out to witness the shuttle fly by on its way to land caught images of the tragic disaster. I started to hear these accounts of people out west who had taken video recordings with their personal camcorders of the shuttle coming in over the ocean. Out there, it was just a dot in the sky, but they could see dots separating from each other, and they could see the dot getting brighter and dimmer. And I realized that there was a lot of physics encoded into that image that we could extract to help figure out what happened. We solved some new physics that hadn't been solved before. And eventually, we were able to solve what was going on in those images, even though it was just a single dot of light we were able to figure out that it was about a 10 square feet section of the left wing that came off and shredded the tiles and fell away behind the shuttle, rotating as it fell. Debris from the vehicle was found scattered across three states. The disaster pushed scientists to develop new technologies for the recovery and reconstruction of the event. The tragedy compelled NASA to further tighten their safety protocols, such as requiring an exhaustive in-orbit inspection to make sure the shuttle would survive re-entry, and having a rescue mission on standby in case it was needed. Even though the Columbia disaster was a tragedy, it did help us to drive the technology forward, and that is going to help humanity onward into space and onto the stars. These astronauts knew the dangers, and they faced them willingly knowing they had a high and noble purpose in life. Because of their courage and daring and idealism, we will miss them all the more. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.